We will attack Stonehenge, the lethal weapon that has plagued ISAF for so long. Since it was designed to shoot down asteroids, a few small fighters flying unpredictable high-speed courses should be able to get within range. According to the defectors, its central ECM jamming system disrupts our radar and missile guidance systems. Unless this system is destroyed, our mission will be very difficult to execute. HQ predicts a 40% casualty rate for all deployed aircraft. It will be a tough mission, but one we can't avoid. Now go and reclaim the skies over the mainland. Dismissed. Box 2, Box 2. Sam, 
radar spike. Mobius 1, the other aircraft are withdrawing. That's a confirmed kill on a yellow. It's a complete victory for the good guys. We reached a turning point and hope this victory will bring about a quick end to the war. Though he lost four, 13 never openly showed his sorrow, but I found out. He was alone, quietly gazing at the handkerchief Yellow 4 left behind. When he felt my eyes upon him, he said, No matter what, she can't complain. She went up with her plane in disrepair. Pilots are responsible for their planes. He then went on and spoke of the time when they first met. He spoke of when she was just a girl, before he trained her, before she became a fighter pilot. His words weren't directed at me in particular. He was keeping a precious memory alive by speaking those words. The hint of perfume on her keepsake handkerchief. Yellow Squadron's pilot turnover ran high. The skilled ones went in to shore up other units while rookies with little airtime transferred in. Yellow 13 posted an Allied paper faxed over by headquarters. It praised the pilot who destroyed Stonehenge. 13 said to everyone, Look, here's something worthy of praise. Even among the enemy there are men like this. Not all of them are despicable bastards who rob our wings through cowardly sabotage. 
I stared at the barkeep's daughter as she winced at those words. The Allies were coming to our town. <laughs>